Welcome back everyone, it's Evanus57 here. I am back on the Division 2, and this video will be my first impressions and gameplay. So I do say back on simply due to the fact that, well, I played the beta for this game, but other than playing the beta for this game, I haven't done anything. So I just need to quickly switch my sensitivity up and I do need to find invert Y axis. There we go. Now it won't feel so foreign. All right, that works. Let's go ahead and see what this game's all about. The only thing I played in the beta was like the first one or two missions that were available. The beta wasn't really that big. I will keep an eye out for collectibles. I want to see how good this game is. I was excited for it, but at the same time skeptical because the first division definitely had some serious problems that they didn't get fixed for a very long time. And I'm kind of concerned that we might run into the same or similar issues, but uh, I'm going to give this game a good old try and we'll find out how it is. They barely let us use any of the skills in the beta, so. Shit, I can't see anything. So, smoke or gas, whatever that was, mucks with your movement controls. It makes it like real sluggish. It's all over. You go. I'll do what I can here. Go! Damn. Um, I'm not even sure what to say on that story. Uh, some more information, please? We took things for granted. We expected coffee in the morning. We expected free Wi-Fi. When those were taken from us, we survived. 
When communications broke down, the train stopped and the internet went dark. We survived. But when the pharmacies were looted and hospitals shut down, asthma became lethal. And with no police to protect you, did you own a gun? Did your neighbor? Some survived. We are a resilient species. When our society collapsed, we found ways to go on. And now, for the first time in centuries, what we want is also truly what we need. In the face of disaster, we, we helped, helped each, each other. other. We built new communities in the ruins of the old. We adapted. We survived. Established a new normal. But there are also those who build nothing. Create nothing. Hyenas, Hyenas preying on the weak. They've made our world bleed. But we don't stand alone. A brave few have sworn to protect us and save what remains. They, they unite, unite us. us. Remind us that we are one people. They are our shield and our light. But if that light goes out... Who can save us then? Well, that was a pretty cool uh, intro, trailer, whatever you want to call it. It's been seven months since the outbreak. I'll do my best to keep the video about an hour and a half long. This way you guys get more gameplay than just the first tutorial or so. So basically this time we've moved into Washington and I guess we're gonna clean up the streets so to speak. I will say from playing the beta they only had a very small section of the map revealed, but it, it did look like we had a number of different dark zones and a whole bunch of stuff to actually mess with. So it's going to take a while to go through all of that. Right now I'll be focused on the main single player slash like co-op if you want with your friends storyline. That should have killed him. Oh, 
So there is the one issue that you do have to keep in mind. It's staged a little bit more as a RPG than um, realistic. But I will say that a few of the enemies... Where's this ammo crate? Oh, there it is. Sweet. Um, a few of the enemies are actually wearing armor, which makes it a bit more realistic than what it was in the first game, where they basically didn't have any armor on and it, they were just wearing like a t-shirt and stopped 50 cal rounds You also now have an armor bar in addition to a health bar. Agent, if you can hear us on this frequency, keep pushing forward and blindside these bastards. cover system and everything seems to be about the same nothing really new there the controls might be optimized a little bit better render distance is kind of trash so these enemies actually didn't render in until I was right on top of them I need to get a grip or something on this gun. I should probably test and see if there's bullet pen or not. For an M4, this has pretty bad recoil. fire looks pretty put out to me. Alright, so our base of operations is basically going to be the White House. Or what's left of it. Interesting. I get anything out of my crate? Um, grants? I 
Oh, that's the stuff from the, uh, the pre-order. Just a bunch of skins. Alright, I don't have anything. Well, there was a weapon, actually, now that I think about it. I think there was a rifle and a shotgun in there. This is you. Welcome to DC. I'm Manny. I run comps. I'm guessing the division alert brought you here? Damn glad to see you. Let me show you exactly how screwed we are. Ever since the JTF imploded, the city's become a playground for murderous fuckheads. There are several main factions, and a whole lot of bottom feeders sucking up whatever the big dogs miss. A few civilian settlements are still holding out against all this villainy. They need more help than we've been able to provide, especially since the Division network went dark. Um, that's Kelso. She's one of the last surviving agents in DC. She's operating at the theater settlement on a priority mission. You should go check in with her. If anyone knows how to get these systems back online, it's her. Oh, and um, introduce yourself to the locals while you're at it. It'll comfort them to know there's a new sheriff in town. By the way, agent, head downstairs and check in with the quartermaster. I did take a brief look at the achievements. Most of them are just completion based. They don't look too terribly bad. There is one for completing everything on hard, though. Alright, so we've got a skill unlock. I've only got one. Now it looks like everything is available. Uh, so let's see, what do we have? Pulse. A continuous pulse. And jammer. Uh, it doesn't give me a damage bonus directly. Chem launcher. So we've got the healing grenade, uh, flammable gas, a movement control foam grenade, hmm. and then a uh, armor damage grenade. So definitely not as powerful. We've got a drone which is tracker, deflects incoming bullets, fixer drone, that's kinda cool We've got the shield. Seeker mind, firefly. Hmm. That's kind of cool. Firefly sounds neat. Uh, I only have one skill point, so I'm going to say I'll go with the turret. We can get the incinerator turret. 
a regular assault turret or a sniper turret. Just going to go with the assault turret. All right, now we got perks, passive bonuses. And the first one is a weapon slot. So that's kind of like a go-to thing. Uh, let me see if I can customize this at all. Uh, nope, no customizations there. Over here. You hear me? Let me go to the stash. Oh, we've got some stuff to upgrade almost immediately. I have a crate know exactly where I picked that up backpack and a SMG must have just been a level up crate you can still mark items as junk that's a neat feature I don't have another skill. Oh, the artillery turret. That sounds cool. It's a specialization it didn't show. Mods. Nope, I don't have any mods. Agent requesting backup. We're going to go with the main mission. I don't know why it just directed me into that, but okay. Only one piece I was trying to open my stash. The game was like, yeah, no. This must be the um, the pre-order one, I think. I want to look at it. Hmm, doesn't tell me. Okay. Let's go ahead and equip those because they should be better than what I have. Ah, it's because it's an exotic. Hmm. At least you can still deconstruct jolt or uh, junk in bulk. Not that those white items were really worth much. I'm going to go ahead and stash inventory. Go ahead and move that to the stash.
Looks like it doesn't take up space in your stash either, which is nice. Oh wow, that thunder was loud. What's this? Over here? Oh, a collectible. Sweet. That's definitely going to take a minute looking around for the collectibles. And you know there's going to be a bunch of them. I'm not sure what half of this loot is, but I'll take it. I just picked up a random magazine. Unless it's something I can break down. The loot's a little hidden. Not like terribly hidden, but it's not as noticeable, per se. Oh, can I get up here? Yeah, I guess I can. Alright, so we have a collectible up here somewhere. Looks like it's on the roof above me. Just a quick cell phone call there. Both of these weapons are semi-auto? Hmm. Not sure how I like that. Actually, this is a burst fire weapon. It's a two round burst. That's really weird. It's a binary rifle, or it has a binary trigger on it, I should say. So, uh, fires one round when you pull the trigger, fires one round when you release the trigger. That's, um, different. Dogs are still here. They still appear to be non-aggressive. We've got another collectible. Let's test out using a turret real quick. I'm going to have to muck with the sensitivity a bit. quite as sensitive as I would like. I 
you can still destroy your skills, like your turrets, to go ahead and put them on cooldown and get them back. Instead of tapping the button, though, it's uh, pressing and holding the right bumper. It's a little bit different on the control scheme. I also found some antibiotics. Okay. It's another item I'm not quite sure of. Ceramics. Now that sounds like a basic crafting component. Titanium. There's a story there. I do love anything made out of titanium. Ooh, we got ourselves a better holster. And it's got uh, skill power on it. I guess that's all right. Two steel. I feel like I'm back playing Fallout. Two polycarbonate. Why? Oh, that's going to require more... Um, playthroughs. I'll figure out the whole resources thing later. I'll just pick up everything I can get my hands on. It's a little weird pressing B to jump up. Go ahead and toss that turret. The recoil on this weapon is friggin' brutal. But not bad at handling uh, basic engagement. Now you see I've got a 60 second cooldown on my turret. So at least now it displays the number of seconds remaining for your skill to be used. That's an interesting change. I kind of like that one. I found another magazine. Portable device detected. Echo detected. 511 Apex pants. Hell yeah, I'll take some pants. Echo nearby. Got myself a tank top. Echo detected. Uh, we'll loot that. In these darker areas, it's super easy to see the collectibles. In the lighter areas, not so much, though. currently trying to find where the collectible is. I've gone a bit more into the free roam mode than probably what I was supposed to. That could work out for me or it could be a bad thing. Ah, here's the collectible. I just got uh, some better gauntlets. The question you have to ask yourself is, what's in it for me? Do I get more out of giving one more shove to a world teetering on the brink of collapse than I do from letting some of the systems try to reset? Or do I stir the pot to ensure maximum chaos? I think you can guess what I'm going to do from that. Good luck. 
I got a crayon. What? That looks like it hurt. Just a wee bit. Alright, so I got myself an extra echo, a couple collectibles. I know I'm going to be missing collectibles. Hopefully it's like the first game where eventually you can get an upgrade that marks all collectible locations on the map. That was a lifesaver for me. I kind of don't mind this binary trigger but at the same time I don't like it it's weird Echo, nearby. oh here we go second echo you get XP from the echoes and collectibles so it's kind of like something that you should go ahead and pick up I really think that SMG should be uh, full auto, but everyone freaks out for nothing. You'll see. In a couple of months, no one will even remember what the dollar flu was. Why two K? You really know how to make a guy feel old. I'm just messing with you. But I don't know. Now, this doesn't feel like it's just gonna blow over. People are scared. And you know what happens when people are scared? Now, you worry too much, Mio. Give me your wallet. Yeah. Don't make us hurt you. Well, hell no. Well, apparently there was a mugging there too. I just found four water. Now see, I can understand water. That makes sense as something that I would want to collect. Water, food, medicine, but crayons and magazines? I have no idea what I'm going to do with those. Now this is where I can pick up probably a crap ton of side quests. I need to find a better outfit too. So this is the very first area that we come to. Apparently you can go directly into playing with other people if you wish, but I don't really see the point.
it's always a good idea just quickly equip anything that happens to be better than what we have I don't have any mods I don't have another skill If you're looking for Agent Kelso, she just left. I should have gone with her. But I'd only slow her down. You know you got your own problems to deal with. But them hyena motherfuckers took my little girl. To get to me. If you can help, I'll be on your debt. And I always pay my debts. Uh, Grand Washington Hotel. All right, that I believe is the mainline mission. Skill unlock, theater settlement upgrade. What kind of preparations? Okay, can deal with that. Remember the point is to rescue a hostage, not bring down the building. I'm capable of restraint. Uh, I don't know. Um, I can only play on standard difficulty, story mode. There is no option for a different difficulty. So I'm assuming that's something that I'll unlock later on. Let's go ahead and get this quick rope. See, they got their UV light set up. Sadly, this gun has an optic on it, but I can't actually aim down the optic. Apparently, um, a book of matches is something you can find in this game, too. Portable device detected. I could understand collecting matches, though. Those are useful. So you let them go? No, I didn't let them go. Oh, fucker. We were gonna trade them. Oh, well. That's what you're gonna tell Diesel when he asks why you killed them? I didn't kill him. The dogs did. Oh shit. I totally did not see a second patrol. My turret's doing work though. Damn. Turret basically eliminated three guys all on its own. That's cool. I'm busy looking for random stuff I can collect. I should have been paying attention to where the enemies were. I got a lighter. I'm just collecting flammable objects, apparently. Looks like I'm going to find a lot of stuff that's locked up and you can just shoot the lock off. Um, let's see. I'm already finding gear that's part of a set and this is literally level 2 gear. So, brand set. 
I guess if I get all three pieces, I get 10% assault rifle damage, protection from elites, and health on kill. Bonus armor attribute. That's kind of cool. I didn't think I could find set items at level 2, but I guess you can. Got some more water. Yeah, so far I'm actually impressed with this turret. Now it's always very important to make sure that we loot everything. We got a better mask. God, I cannot get a hit. I might need to rethink using this rifle. Turret's surprisingly powerful. I should probably worry about like unlocking a grip or something. That's how bad the recoil is with this gun. I mean, it hits extremely hard, but in terms of trying to keep multiple shots on target that binary trigger I don't like it
Gonna try and use my turret to keep them suppressed. I have extremely low health right now. You went all the way to the top floor. Take the stairs to the right of the elevators and work your way up. At least when you finish a combat fight, both your health and armor bars refill. That's an interesting change. I want to use this gun because it's a bonus, you know, pre-order weapon, but at the same time, uh, USC 45 ACP, I'll just loot it. Apparently it has basically exactly the same stats. Um, while I'm here, let's see if we have anything better. I do not. Oh, nope, never mind, I spoke too soon. Won't let me equip them in combat. Receiver components, protective fabric, whatever all of that's for. I couldn't equip the one thing for some reason, the knee pads. Come on, stick your head up. You're fucking dead, eh? Ooh, a hyena's key. Darn it, I don't have one of those. Missions still give you a nice chunk of stockpile chests. Plenty of places to refill your ammunition.
I see they still have the purple bar enemies for like hard enemies. Not entirely sure how he was able to hit me, but he was able to hit me. I need to do something about them having the high ground. So we're going to have to use an armor kit there to repair my armor. Yeah, this gun's definitely, um, good. Like, I mean, it does a lot of damage. I just wish the controllability on it was a bit better. Let me take a quick look upstairs. Just in case. You never know, since the loot's a little bit harder to find, what they might have stashed. And I'm not sure of what's good to have and what's bad to have at the moment. I just found an ammo stockpile. I'm gonna detonate it. I'll take all the crayons I can get. I can melt them down and maybe make some candles out of them. Yet. I did not mean to do that. I just can't keep this weapon on target. This weapon doesn't do near the damage. 45 caliber, I believe, semi automatic. Barely hit that dude for some reason. See how this works out against maybe some tougher enemies. Do not exit. Do not exit. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna listen to the elevator. I 
I'll probably end up uh, playing this game a bit on stream as well. So if you guys want to check that out, you're welcome to do so. I do live stream on Twitch. And my channel name is the same on Twitch as it is here on YouTube. This turret really puts in some work. Just like the first one, the melee guys are super annoying. When they hit you, it's like a huge knockback. I'm on the roof, holding for backup. I have eyes on you, Kelso. You see Saint? I don't know what he looks like, but there are plenty of hostiles up there. Not for long. Huh? What was that? Yes, Take the shots out there. Apparently, regular enemies can drop ammo for you as well. That's kind of cool. Different, but cool. I'm getting a little bit more used to this weapon and its binary trigger. Oh, random loot? Okay. Hopefully they won't notice me. I can get a little bit closer. They noticed the other person with me, though. I feel like I should probably get a healing skill after this, that is. In the first division, before they ruined it, I ran a skill build. But then they kind of ruined skill build, so... I used to love my sticky launcher. Hey. 
Unfortunately, he broke my armor. This weapon's just super hard to control on rapid fire. This weapon, on the other hand, is pretty easy to control. I got about 30 seconds till I get my turret back. I hope inventory items don't take up inventory space. If they do, that's gonna suck. I almost missed the elevator call button. So far, not bad. More annoying the weapon that I've chosen to use than anything. Ooh, I love this mounted minigun, that's for sure. Manny, is Odessa on the line? I'll patch her in. Odessa? Kelso has some news for you. We got Eleanor. Rescued. Oh, okay. Sweet. My first uh, achievement. And a level up. Shade tech field proficiency cash. Extra health. I just picked up 30 shock rounds. See, that's something that I don't like, though. When you loot a container and it gives you a special ammo, it automatically goes in the gun that you have equipped at that moment. It doesn't just go into your inventory as a consumable to be used when you wish to use it. So, I don't like that feature.
Wow. A white mask was better than my green mask. Does that say 441 to skill power versus 7% critical hit chance? Okay, interesting. I'll save that holster. Two twenty one to skill power by using those and nothing good there. Protective fabric, receiver components. We'll take this field proficiency cache and open it. It's a gear item and a weapon. So it's a vest and a uh, MK16 level three. Not bad, I don't think. Or no, it's a pack, sorry. Crit damage, or this one, it's part of a brand set. Again, it's rolled with an attribute to skill power, so I guess my skills are super strong. It's better than what I have, armor, so... I guess I'll put it on and I get 10% skill power. Now this assault rifle is slightly less damage. But I'd rather have that rather have a scar more basic protective fabric and stuff okay so there's all your apparel items good to know it does not look like apparel items take up inventory space, thankfully. I have a full auto weapon for when I need it. And I have my higher damage binary weapon that currently has shock rounds equipped for the sole reason of I looted him. I'll admit, though, the shock rounds are kind of neat. That's actually pretty damn potent, that shock round. I still wish it was a consumable that I could use whenever I wanted the ammo as opposed to just it being there when it decides to be there. What is this? 
en route to gather. Oh, okay. It's just uh, people. I thought it was like a mission or something for me to do. Pretty sure that was an NPC stuck on a wall, but okay. Whoa. Hello, glitchy NPC. New roof, barbecue, we got hydroponics. Cool. Come on over and take a look. I don't really see anything there. Projects. What does this do? Uh, theater. Goal project. Salvage crew. Goal project. Outfit hunting party. Oh. Okay. Why did it make me donate all 11 of them now? Uh, okay. So I need to save gloves and a couple other things. Gloves and chest armor for this. Blueprint vertical grip. Hmm. That's cool. All right, so very important, at least in my opinion, is to pick up all the side missions. What is this? Crafting, settlement activities. Huh. Uh, okay. Battery storage. Huh. Okay. That's cool. We got our hydroponics. I'm going to be helping out at the base of operations with equipment fabrication. It's a pleasure to meet you. Maybe they know something we don't. There's still some useful tech there. Anyway. Well, that was lackluster. Worse than ever, Odessa. We're barely holding things together. What am I supposed to do? Help us. I am helping. I am helping. Just not the way you want me to. We need you out there again. Your leg wouldn't stop you. It's not about that. I know it isn't. But if we fail... All right! All right. 
We could probably spare some people. I'll be outside. She said you did your part. I won't forget it. Those scars look either really fresh or really horribly coated. Hi there. Well, we got the flare gun now. And a crap load of missions. Hmm, that's cool. Find agents notes, there's side missions around. Oh, a level 26 stronghold. I should not be going in there just yet. Let me get this uh, control point. Let's see what that's all about. That should be a decent place to end off. And I need to remember I need to save gloves and a vest if I find the gloves or a vest. Then I have to stop a public execution and I think I have to take over this control point. I don't know where this public execution is. Did I fail it or something? Oh no, I went the wrong direction. No, 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 don't die.
God damn it. Well, I got an achievement for that. Put out a call for backup. Wow, that's a easy achievement. I just wanted to prevent this thing, but I didn't realize they were going to spawn from the door that I was at. Um, guess I'm not gonna get any assistance here. And then that means that I fail that. Well, that's awesome. Ah, eh, I'll work on that later. I'm gonna go back to base. Since calling for backup didn't do any good at all, I'm just going to get my other skills. I'll worry about that mission next time. It seems like when you engage one group of enemies and it says that there's additional enemies, they can just spawn out of the building, like materialize out of thin air. So I'm not sure if that's something with the render distance or if that's just their one specific spawn point and I didn't know that that was the spawn point, but they were on either side of me and I couldn't heal, so. I should probably unlock that repair drone that repairs armor. I feel like that could be very useful. Get this drone bomb. Get the fixer drone. Let's get another perk. I have one shade tech. Restock armor kits when entering a safe space. Bonus items drop when opening a field proficiency cache. The group. Armor kit. Headshot toward bonus XP. That could be useful. Carry capacity. Grenade capacity. Better detection of loot containers in a 20 meaty. Uh, that one doesn't sound that great. Tier 2 red dot sites for short and long top rails. Mm, 5.56 caliber weapons. Interesting. Uh, what to go with? I kind of want to go with restock armor kits. XP from headshots is good, but I don't really get that many headshots, so... But that'll help me in the long run level up faster, which means more shade tech which means more upgrades, so probably best to go with the headshot accolade one. My next piece of shade tech will go into restocking armor kits so I can use them. Oh, 
Oh, okay. That's what that does. And is it possible for me to fast travel? Because I got to go back there. It's a safe house I don't have unlocked yet. Okay, it is possible to fast travel. It's a little on the slow side when it comes to fast traveling. There's no passive perk that I noticed which gives you more XP from collectibles. And I didn't notice any perk on that perk tree that highlighted all of the collectibles either. So it might be a long, drawn-out grind to find all the collectibles. And there is an achievement associated with the collectibles. Actually, I think there's a couple achievements associated with it. Alright, one more try. See if I can prevent that public execution or if I've already failed it. Oh shit, when you die, apparently you lose your special ammo as well. That's kind of retarded. Shit, it didn't auto equip my skill. That's interesting. Drone. Alright, LB's my healer. Alright, so it looks like I failed the public execution. Hopefully there'll be another one. And I didn't fail that uh, challenge completely. I'll have to find a different public execution to get the other challenge. Let me take over this control point, though. Hey, a deer. Looks like it's made out of plastic, though. And, uh... Raccoon? Jeez, textures didn't load in. Man, I cannot move. What the fuck? The hell is that green gas shit? Whatever that was made my movement pretty much limited to side to side only. I don't like that.
Oh yeah, I like this repair drone. This repair drone was a good call. Man, this thing lasts a long time, too. It's like a really long time. All right, I got to remember my little healing drone is on cooldown. Roughly a 140 second cooldown. We've got a new pistol now. Uh, so it does more damage. It doesn't fire as quick. And it definitely doesn't have the magazine capacity. But uh, it's not bad. Progress wise, I've barely done anything at the moment. Holy crap, there's a lot to do. Alright, so you can do technically the extra reload. That's good. Where's the supply room? I want my loot for taking over this place. Uh, increased armor and attribute of damage to elites eh. well right now I'm not going to be too worried about attributes simply because I'll be changing gear fairly frequently we have a shotgun and a mask um, slightly better armor and 3% cooldown reduction now that I like And another shotgun. That was a lot of loot in here. Couple better pieces of gear and a couple weapons, but I don't like shotguns, so. Now, where am I going to have to go? There's a unknown activity near me.
And then, of course, all the little side missions. Blueprint improvised knee pads. Hmm. All right, so there's a lot of improvised blueprints. How to repair a holographic site. I said fix it. I can't. I'm a hardware engineer. I can fix computers or tablets. I can't mend car engines or toasters. Can you mend a bullet through your skull? <laughs> hey, knock it off. We need this guy. Need me for what? Okay, lots of side missions. Unfortunately, I am already over my hour and a half timer. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end off here. Here's a side mission that does reward... Wow, it rewards 10 shade tech. I'm going to try to bypass them and get down to the sub-level. Maybe you should stand by and wait. That's pretty cool. But I'm going to go back here real quick. Go back to the settlement, be at a nice safe spot, and uh, then I'm going to go ahead and log out. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you do have any questions, comments, anything like that, feel free to leave a comment. Otherwise, smash the like button if you did like the video and share it with your friends as that greatly helps me out with the searchability of videos here on YouTube. Until next time, stay frosty.